Throughout history, people have used various methods to manage menstrual pain, often relying on the resources and knowledge available at the time. Here are some interesting historical approaches. Ancient remedies. In ancient Egypt, people used softened papyrus to absorb menstrual blood, and herbal remedies were common for pain relief. In ancient Greece, Hippocrates recommended drinking a mixture of wine and herbs to ease menstrual cramps. I wonder which one of those helped. Traditional Chinese medicine is moxibustion, a technique involving burning moxa, which is a dried mugwort, near the skin, was used to alleviate menstrual pain. This practice dates back thousands of years and is still used in some cultures today. Medieval Europe. During the Middle Ages, menstrual pain was often seen as punishment and treatments were limited. Some believed that carrying a pouch of toad ashes around the waist could cure the cramps. Botanical remedies. Various cultures used botanical remedies such as chamomile, ginger and cinnamon to relieve menstrual pain. These herbs were often consumed in tea or applied as polyjuices. Palti. Whatever. Hydrotherapy. In the 19th century, hydrotherapy, or the use of water for pain relief, became popular. Warm baths and compressions were used to soothe menstrual cramps. These methods reflect the diverse way that people tried to manage menstrual pain across different cultures and eras. It's fascinating to see how many of these ancient practices still have use for today. There are small wives' tales about periods that have been passed down through generations. Here are some interesting ones. You can't get pregnant on your period. It's only partially true. While it's less likely, it's not impossible especially if your cycles are irregular. Period syncing up. There's anecdotal evidence suggesting that women living together may experience synchronized cycles, but scientific proof is still inconclusive. Don't touch plants. Some people believe that menstruating women can cause plants to wither and die if you touch them. Avoid cold beverages. It's said that drinking a cold beverage can cause cramps or make them even worse. Don't wash your hair. In some cultures, it's believed that washing your hair during period can lead to heavy flow or other health issues. Huh. Menstrual blood has special powers. In ancient Rome, it was believed that menstrual blood could spoil crops, cause bees to leave their hives, make dogs go mad, and just generally fuck up the world. Don't bake or cook. There's a myth that anything a menstruating woman cooks or bakes will turn out just crappy, such as donut rising or mayonnaise curdling. I think this is actually true, and no person who has their period should have to cook dinner. Stay away from the kitchen. Some cultures believe that menstruating women should not enter the kitchen or cook food. I now believe that that is fact. It's a mixture of superstitions and cultural beliefs and, and misunderstandings about menstruation. It is also widely believed and has been found fact that every person who menstruates and is menstruating right now becomes a witch, gets magical powers and men have to stay away. Truth fact. It's science.